You see this guy? He calls himself Big Six, but I like to call him Big Bitch. Now, what was Big Bitch doing, you ask? Well, there was a homeless guy laying down there, and he was pranking him with firecrackers. The homeless man was sleeping, and Big Bitch here decides to fucking line up some firecrackers and just light it up. That's pranking nowadays. Look, I wasn't planning on making this video. As you can see, I'm actually pissed. I, I, I'm pissed. I relate to this on a personal level, because I used to be homeless. I made a video about it. I look fucking homeless there too in the video of, about me being homeless. I know what it's like to go through the struggles. I did it for four years, from 13 to 17. I was a runaway teen, I was one of those. I was an orphanage, I've been through it all. Okay, but this video isn't about me. This video is about people who are going through what I went through, and the people that you have to deal with, like this goober. <laughs> This goddamn idiot who thinks pranking is uh, assaulting people nowadays. So not only does this homeless person have to struggle with the streets and like probably drugs or alcohol or something, just looking for a place to sleep, looking for a place to eat. It's not easy. It gets cold. You're sleeping in the concrete. Like it's it's shameful. It's embarrassing. And then you just lose that feeling of being human. You just see everybody walk by you and you just feel shit. It doesn't feel right. So you can look at me and tell me it's a hot take, but it's really not, okay? It's common sense that this homeless person is going through all this, and then they have to suddenly deal with this idiot who decides to light firecrackers and then jump into his car and drive away like a little bitch that he is. It's crazy. I'm not even going to filter myself. I'm going to go full fucking kill Tony on this. I'm done being that PG YouTuber shit because I'm genuinely pissed. I want you guys to fucking clown on him. Now obviously there's nothing I can really do about it besides spread awareness like this guy spreads stupidity across the internet. But let it be known, if I do ever see this guy, I will spread his cheeks and put firecrackers in it. Look, even she's pissed. Are you pissed? Show them how pissed you are, Lola. She's... She's had enough. She's not even looking at the- she went to lay down. She's clearly fed up, passive aggressive, but she's fed up. As you can see, the homeless person is just minding their own business, sleeping. That doesn't look comfy. It looks horrible. I feel absolutely bad for them. And then this idiot comes along and goes, Gee, let me go prank this person. And then you got the fucking idiot hype man right there, closer, closer. Oh, it's a harmless prank cow. It's harmless. It's just firecrackers. They're mini bombs. All right, fuck you. All right, you, you harmless prank. What if you were homeless and sleeping in the streets and then you just suddenly heard a bunch of firecrackers? You could die of a heart attack. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, you're going to die. It's not a harmless prank. You could die. You could genuinely die. It's not impossible. It's not off the table. You, you, if you want to argue with me and say, yeah, sure, he could die. You could. You could easily just fucking die from a heart attack, especially being in that condition and already feeling shit and already being unhealthy. It's just like something can definitely happen. Cancel this guy. Cancel people like this. Why don't you guys take cancel culture and actually do some good with it? Huh? It's like you guys got the superpowers, but you're using it for bad. You're canceling the wrong people. Of course, at certain times, there are right people like EDP or Mini Lad, but then you try to cancel people that are like telling jokes, like clearly just telling jokes as a comedian. You're there to see comedy, like you know they're joking and then they get canceled for a joke. Like I've seen that happen multiple times and it's great, it baffles me. It's crazy. Why don't you take that culture and put it into people like this? Because I, I think he should be deplatformed, but it's kick, first of all. I don't know why I didn't start off with that. He's a kick streamer. I'm about to kick his butt in a sec. <sighs> kick is like a whole different ecosystem. I don't know where to dive in here. All the kick dick riders are going to go at me and be like, well, there are some good eggs in a basket. Well, there are some good eggs in a basket of shitty eggs. Twitch isn't a fairy tale either, but compared to kick, it kind of is. 
<laughs> it's it's fucking beautiful actually i'm not saying the pay isn't good I, I would fucking sit back with you guys on that the pay is amazing the pay is good kick gives people you know money like when it comes to getting paid kick is decent with it but if we're talking about people it's filled with pedophiles it's filled with idiots it's filled with people who think they're pranking people when they're not there's pranksters that think they're pranking people but they're assaulting them it's just filled with a cesspool of degenerates and then sometimes there's a good egg in there and you're like why are you there because they're getting paid a lot more so it sucks to see those good eggs mixed with a bunch of rotten eggs no a lot of these youtubers always say shit like i'm not trying to get you to bully them don't go over there and harass them well i'm telling you go bully him go harass him do whatever it takes to get him off the platform. I unfortunately took a dive into this rabbit hole and looked up his kick stream and checked out his page. And the shit he does on there is pretty much the shit the 90% of people do on there. Is he goes on this monkey app and it's like Omegle and tries to get people to expose themselves in front of like thousands of people on stream. I don't know if thousands is the right number here. But in front of hundreds of people on stream without them knowing like this guy is weird and people clipped it and it's still on his page do you have big titties <laughs> i don't I think do not have, big titties. have big titties no let me see them she actually ends up showing it to him and this is his reaction he's acting like he's never seen tits before which he probably hasn't not with that attitude Holy shit, this guy is like fucking unhinged. What bothers me nowadays is the lack of self-awareness. I think the lack of self-awareness is just horrible. I think that's one of the worst traits you can have as a human being. And I know some of you are going to comment, well, you lack self-awareness. No, I'm fucking well aware that I'm an asshole. But at least I'm not a fucking creep. At least I'm not asshole enough to fucking harass a homeless person and put firecrackers next to them. I just see some titties, please, for my birthday. Oh, uh, I got you. Ah, bitch. Oh my god, can I see your titties? Can I see your titties? Oh my god, I can fucking ruin this guy's life. He's just fucking horrible. He's just a fucking goober. This guy is just awful. I, I just want to... I want to punch him. It's 2024. I've never seen somebody so desperate for tits. What I mean by that is you have the internet where you can just look it up. There's so many kinds of tits out there. There's, there's fucking furry tits. There's turtle tits. There's granny tits. Itty bitty titties, which he probably likes because he's a pedophile. Oh, there's guy tits. There's just a lot of tits out there. You can look it up. It's just one Google search away. Kids, don't do that. You don't. Don't do that. You know what's crazy? As I'm making this video, he's actually live right now, so let's check it out. What in the shit? The realest bar I've ever heard. The realest shit. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Ah! Yeah, I'm sure you can relate to that. At this point, this silly goose proceeded to play some copyrighted music. So, I'm gonna fill it in with some more suitable music for him. Here we go. Okay, that's enough of that. I, I can't handle more than like a few minutes. I don't know how these people do it. Jesus Christ. They must be on meth. Look at his, Yo. look at his haircut. Yo, can you fucking drive, buddy? It's not even raining. Man. I guess you could say uh, he didn't really get a bang for his buck with that haircut. You think it's so fucking funny, huh? Uh, funny, funny, funny. He looks like if 6 9 had no face tattoos. He looks like the Timu version of Lil Pump. He looks like a whole-ass mongoose. Seriously though, who gave him that haircut? Jesus Christ. 
That is... That is awful. Is that what's called hip nowadays? Huh? Is that hip? He looks like if Mumbo Rap was a person. Instead of Chief Keef, this guy's Chief Queef. He looks like the type of person that claps as the plane is about to crash. Not when it's landing, when it's about to crash. He probably showers with a fucking raincoat on because he's scared to get wet. Oh, the water's gonna wash away the rest of my eyebrows. Ah. This fucking goober. This fucking guy. I hate this guy. I don't like him. The damage is already done by himself. I'm just adding to it. It's like pissing on poop that's already in the toilet. It's like already gross, but you just made it worse. All right, let's get back to the subject at hand because, uh, yeah, we're here. This is what we were talking about, the homeless guy. Cake streamer Big Six is facing backlash for lighting firecrackers next to a homeless person as they try to sleep. Kick streams continue to stir up debate online as streamers on the site frequently push the envelope and toe the line between what is and isn't acceptable on the platform. That is true. In the past year, we've seen countless incidents go viral involving fights, reckless driving, sexual misconduct, and more. That is, he kind of, he probably did all of them, to be fair. I know the driving one. I was going to make a video on that guy, but I didn't. I mean, we just saw him make a girl expose herself in front of like a bunch of people. And she didn't know he was streaming. Like, that's fucked up. That is, like, degenerate as hell. I don't know why that's the next big content. Like, you guys are idiots. You guys are hyping him. You're fueling him up. You're giving him, like, reason to keep doing it because you're telling him to do it. You guys can fucking go on the internet and do the same thing. I already went on my rant about tits. But it's guys like him that make girls like this seem right. But let me just step away from that subject now because... I'll deal with that group later. We're dealing with this fucking goober right now. During a June 9th stream, kick streamer Big Six was pretending to be homeless for content and decided to prank a real homeless person with firecrackers. After driving around town, Big Six... Okay, let's change his name. After driving around town, Big Bitch and a friend came across an unhoused person sleeping on the sidewalk. That's a weird way to say that, just say homeless person, but okay. An unhoused person sleeping on the sidewalk and set up for the prank by laying out the firecrackers next to them. Right next to them. Can't even read, this guy's fucking making me lose brain cells. Once they were lit, the streamer ran back into the car and the two escaped just as the firecrackers began exploding. The, the way they reacted was like middle schoolers when they fucking play tag and then they tag a girl and they're like, oh my god, I touched a girl for the first time. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Go, 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 go. You just hear the other idiot. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Like, Jesus Christ. That's mumble talking. The man started running towards the car, but it wasn't clear if he suspected the streamer was behind it or if he just wanted to get away from the explosions. Obviously, he was trying to get away from the explosions because he just woke up. <laughs> like, what? He doesn't even have enough time to react to even see around him. However, Big Six and his friend couldn't contain their laughter and immediately began watching a clip of their practical joke. This article just makes me hate them more. That's fucked, one said. Man, people do dumb things for no reason. Shaking my head, remarks someone else. Oh, they're quoting people in this article. I want to be quoted. Here, quote me. Big Six, you're a big bitch, and you have more chromosomes than brain cells. Another user even compared the words kick streamer to Florida man because of how many wild negative stories have spawned that involved creators on kick and men from the sunshine state. Florida's not even close to the cesspool of kick and Florida's bad sometimes. A lot of the times. Okay, but you know what I mean. Florida isn't as bad as kick. Not to comparing Timu to Wish. Okay, that was bad. Not to comparing Timu to Prime. There we go. TV and Wish are kind of the same. I don't even know. They're part of the same people. It's the fucking Chinese. Oh, they're taking over. And TikTok too. At the time of the writing, Kick hasn't handed out any sort of punishment towards to Big Bitch as his channel remains fully active. That said, according to Kick's community guidelines, international violence is prohibited and states dangerous competitions, dares, or pranks can lead to violence. Well, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty fucking violent. Blew his eardrums out. Almost gave him a heart attack. Who knows? The tiny pieces could hit him. It's still assault, even if it's not deadly. 
I mean, they fucking allowed nudity on there too. They that clip is still on his page, and obviously nothing happened to him because in the time of making this video and reading that article, he still isn't banned because we just saw him live while I was recording this, and I'm uploading this the same exact day that I recorded it. So, shit. This guy's annoying. Probably gonna send his little minions after me. I'll just stomp on them all. I'm not scared of you and your little six gang. What are you gonna do? Harass me? Huh? Ask me to show my tits? Jokes on you. I'll do it voluntarily. Anyways, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like subscribe button. It helps a lot because the more famous I get, the more I can shit on people like this and have an impact. As always, take care, my bears. Stay safe and uh, don't die. Thank you.